there is a person I teach and I think it is very important to have a mentor of someone to teach you about God. Okay. If you have a mentor that is on a higher level than you in the things of Jesus Christ, won't you be able to go higher in Jesus? Like, won't you learn more than what you probably would have not learned if it was only you? Anyways, there is a person I teach and what I try to drill in that person is handle one problem at a time. I think if you are trying to become Christian, maybe if you are in sin as well, I think almost everyone are going to have a point of time, I guess, to where it seems like so many problems will come to you at one time or around a period of time. For instance, on Monday, your car broke down. You was late to work. Your boss started to talk to you in a rude way. On Tuesday, your daughter got sick and the bill is large. Your son got expelled from school. What day am I on now? On Wednesday, mm, your house burnt down, like back to back problems, back to back, around a segment of time. Now, with some people, that may really discourage you, that may really overwhelm you, maybe it may get you to stop believing in Jesus Christ or go your own way, right? How do you eat an elephant? And you may say, Kevin, I never ate elephant. Me either. But I assume you eat an elephant. <laughs> How? <laughs> Piece by piece, right? Like, can you eat a whole elephant at one time? Like, ah, like all at one time. I can't. So I believe I would have to eat an elephant piece by piece. Look now. I am going through some issues now. Issue. Issues, I, issues, yes, issues, but earlier than this, I had more issues. Okay. I was taking care and still am taking care of my issues as it seems, one issue at a time. Let me go to issue one. Then once issue one is solved or getting to be solved, 
let me do what I can for issue one. Once I do that, let me do what I can for issue two. Okay, let me do what I can for issue three. So one issue at a time. Or whatever I would have to do, depending on the situation. Let me not overwhelm myself. Let me not stress myself over my problems, which I was for a bit. Let me not begin complaining all day, every day. Let me not get drunk or get high. Let me not pop some pills, right? Let me take one issue at a time. Why me, God? Why me, God? Why do I have to go through these issues? What point is that? Like, how many times do you have to say that? Like, you are on earth. While being on this earth, I believe, you are going to have problems. So why ask Jesus Christ, why do I have to go through these problems, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you are sinning, probably that is the reason. If you are trying to do what is right, probably you are being tested. So we need to stop the complaining or the consistent complaining we need to I believe I said complaining right we need to stop the complaining look I believe we are on this earth to be tested look at Job look at what Peter, the Apostle Paul, and some of the prophets, look at what they had to go through. So, have we gone through anything close to they? Probably not. So, and I think there is a verse as well. And I may not have it, and I may say it wrongly, <laughs> but a verse says something like, For those who live godly shall, not maybe, not whatever, but shall suffer persecution. So if I live for Jesus Christ, I believe that ensures me. <laughs> I believe that ensures me that I go through persecution, right? So if you are going through some hard times while living for Jesus Christ, that is normal, right? I think so. Handle one issue at a time. Even if I had 100 issues and I pray that never happens to me, I would have to handle, I guess, one issue at a time until they are finished. One of my issues, I guess it was kind of an issue, I think it is going to be, I think it is solved I think it is solved now, but I think it is going to be done on Thursday. This Thursday. And I have been working on another issue. And maybe that issue will take, I don't know, one, two years. I don't know. Hopefully <laughs> sooner. One issue at a time. Don't try to eat the whole elephant at one time. 
Like, won't that hurt you? Won't that make you vomit? Won't that be too much for you? Right? Try to take your mind off your issues. Think about God. Pray to God. Pray to God about your issues. Then after, try to leave your mind of your issues, right? Because how is it going to benefit you to contemplate, dwell upon your issues? Like, what is that going to do for you? Make you happy? Make you glad? Look now. There are some issues I don't really know what to do as in how to completely fix it. So I guess I have to go step by step. I have to pray, maybe even fast. So if there is an issue I don't really know how to fix, why constantly think about it? Why constantly let my imagination roam around making me feel worse? Let me try to try, right? Try, push those thoughts out of my mind. Let God handle it. Like what I am going in now, I don't know too much about this stuff, but I am taking what? Steps. Steps. So I am trying to take my mind off of it. Sometimes I don't even like to, like if a person brings it up, sometimes that may irritate me some because I don't really like to think about it because I don't know exactly what to do to fix it. I don't want to feel bad thinking about something that I feel is being done wrong to me. Does that make any sense? So, if you have a big blob of problems, chop it up. Segments. Take a segment. Let me fix this. Okay, this is done. Okay, let me take another piece. Okay, this is done. Let me take another piece. Okay, this is done until it is all done. Let me stop here. God bless you.